Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode 75 of my gameplay on No Man's Land. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. It has been, I mean, it hasn't actually been realistically too long, but it feels like it's been forever since I've been on No Man's Land playing and recording. I just had taken one week off. That was, wow, it seems like way longer than that. I am so excited to be back on this map and I have so many things to say and to do on this episode that it is it is gonna be packed with all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep the episode length to around my normal time of like 50 minutes to an hour, but who knows? <laughs> I shouldn't go too far over an hour if I do go that long. Uh, so we're gonna start off with role play um, right off the bat. Um, as you can see, we have the call screen on. I don't remember who I'm gonna have on it um and everything like that but we are here role playing and we are gonna just do our thing and you know go from there um yeah that's how we're gonna start this episode off so i am gonna go through a few announcements the first thing is i want to mention something about comments and emails so i'm uh, notoriously bad at responding to emails and checking my email so if you've emailed the farmer cop 911 at gmail.com i haven't responded to you, i do apologize uh, send it again if I didn't uh, respond to you because I just looked and I found one I think an email from October that I missed I'm usually pretty good about getting to them I think but I do miss them so I apologize I'm not trying to ignore you um, and also with comments I found a comment that was been in the spam folder of the comments like marked by YouTube as spam that wasn't actually spam and sometimes I accidentally mark them as yes remove this comment so I apologize if your comment suddenly disappears uh, feel free to recomment it um, Usually that's just an issue that it gets marked as spam and I accidentally don't approve it or something like that. You know, any, <laughs> anyhow, um, yeah, I, I have so much stuff written down here that I want to go over and I want to talk about that. It's, it's borderline overwhelming. Um, <laughs> uh, so let's go through a couple of things here. Let me open up my notebooks here. Uh, so first off, um, monster, Icky actually commented, sent there's a poplar header on the mod hub. That was better. Cause remember we used, uh, Oh, shoot. Let's go into our... There's... Go to Poplar Headers over here, or the Forage Harvester Headers. We were using this guy. We have one of these. But this one recently came out on the Mod Hub, which is... It's fantastic. It's six meters. Um, we are going to upgrade to that. Um, we're not going to buy it right now. That's not how much money we actually have. So we'll probably upgrade to that in a little bit. So thank you for commenting that. Uh, Polar Bear, who is a member of our Discord community, is going to apply, and is applying, uh, for a job as a Reserve Officer. Um... <laughs> he mentioned he has 12 years law enforcement experience so he has probably more experience as a police officer than i am uh, in the real world so you know, he will likely be hired also i want to say thank you to holden 308 who commented saying that i should try out the contractors mod for role play aspects uh, we will do a little bit of that today we'll just pull over here i probably shouldn't be driving while i'm talking um so we're gonna do a little bit of that today um as we go through things and do different things like that um so i'm using one of the contractors if you don't know how it is you tab through them um, and they show up at random spots. Brenda's over there. So I don't know if you instead of tabbing right now, I wouldn't go to another vehicle. I go to other contractors that are out and about, if you will. I don't really know how to use the mod yet. I'm still working on it and working on how to use it. Um, and James Smith said he got everything for his Colorado bakery and we saved the bakery. So that's good news there. Um, yeah. Let me see here. Oh, and thank you guys for when I said that, hey, I had a lot going on. I couldn't get as many much content out or I was working on getting through some stuff. So many of you, like countless numbers of you commented on that post and just telling me to take it easy and that you hope everything is well and everything like that. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys. Those comments meant a lot to me in the moment there. Um, we also, I will say this, uh, oh, DJ commented saying something about auto drive. So auto drive in no man's land does not work. And I guess it has something to do with the asterisks. He let me know some more information about that. So I may be able to fix that, may not be able to, um, we'll see, but if I could fix it, so, uh, auto drive routes actually save on here, that would be fantastic. Cause I really like to use auto drive, but I haven't been able to use it on my favorite map. So, uh, thank you DJ for making that comment as well. Um, Tim Lee also commented a subscriber contract. I think we got two new subscriber contracts this episode. Let me. Let me pull this one up here for a second here. I want to, we'll just go over to that so we don't see anything. Uh, oh gosh, where's my subscriber? I opened it up. Okay, there we go. So Tim Lee commented saying that he needs uh, 67 small hay bales uh, for his sheep. Um, he wants them just sent over to the Agra's land trade and then he'll come pick them up from there. He's going to give us $75 each. Um, so I did add in some balers to do that. Um, we also got a uh, subscriber contract for, let me see here. Oh boy. 
I didn't write it down on there. I know I wrote it down on this other sheet. So a little disorganized today. Uh, Krog Moose commented saying he needed a million liters of wood chips shipped to Denmark um, for $375 per 1,000 liters. So no big deal there. We are going to pay to ship those to um, the airport. So I talked to uh, Lucky, who should be able to ship them for us. Lucky is the owner of Arctic Wolf arctic wolf logistics which is the logistics company that we added in for him um recently the last couple episodes um so he's gonna ship them from the farm to there so we don't have to come pick them up or deal with them and or to the farm or from the farm to the airport and then jason who is the person who runs the airport is going to get them from there uh so we've accepted those two contracts there uh we still have to get 10 cows for philip stallings and leo osman needs a hundred thousand liters of canola uh, which we are working on growing right now. And then a quiet hitman said that there was a bad season of wool and cotton in Washington Valley. So you need 40 wool pallets and eight cotton bales. So um, that's quite a bit of stuff there uh, to get going, but we're going to get it all going and we are going to be excited about it. So that is, I think, everything on that note. Let me look down here. Um, oh yeah, I did write it down on there. Pfft. Just missed it. Completely missed it. Anyhow, I went through the map and I removed a lot of the extra plate. Well, I say a lot. I removed. Uh, it took me forever, by the way, all those trash bags that we hauled out to the dump. It took me forever to sell all those because when I sell something, it just kind of freezes for a second. And so it takes about 20 to 30 seconds to sell each individual item on this map. Uh, but anyhow, I got a lot of the extra stuff sold off. Um, I also had my computer upgraded as well. So I didn't realize it, but the RAM was really slow on it. I have a friend who is a computer um, computer person, um, who works on computers and whatnot. Um, and he was able to look at it and he said that, you know, I have four slots for Ram, but I was only using one of them with an eight gigabyte Ram, uh, drive. So I now have two Ram drives in that are each 16 gigabytes. So now I'm up to 32 gigabytes, which is fantastic. So I'm very excited about that. The memory is working so much better. I feel like the computer is working a lot smoother. Um, there should hopefully be less crashes. I don't know what that line is on there, but I'm talking about the computer running nicely. There's a weird line on the screen. But uh, yeah, so there, there should be less crashes and stuff like that. And actually in this episode, there is actually going to be a landscaping time lapse. I know I don't normally do those in No Man's Land, but I figured, why not? I just kind of wanted to do one. Um, so I am going to do one of those at some point. Um, actually, we should drive over to the apartments. There's some new people in town here um, and to take a look at. So we will go take a look at them here in a second. Uh, let me look down my list here. Yeah, I'm trying to see what else we got going on here. Oh, uh, the grain distributor here, right? This one in the center here was purchased by uh, Cy FCC. Um, or Cy, yeah, Cy FCC. Sorry if I say your name wrong, but this is purchased by them now. So they own this property. Oh, stop, Cy. Oh, no, we ran it. Oh, we ran it. Uh, so they, they uh, own that one now. Um, actually, we'll head this way first or something else out here I want to take a look at. So that is the business that they have gone ahead and taken up the initiative to start out on and do whatever have you on it um so let me make sure i did I not mark yeah okay sorry i'm just trying to mark things off as well oh i passed what i was gonna go look at you can see how scatterbrained i am as usual farmer cops back at it again so i added this in this little area in here um figured it'd be a good good spot to have it so um, a couple of different buildings. This one actually is for sale, so it can be converted into a business of any sort. And this is another new business. This is Bloody's business here. This is Dutch's Liquor. So this is a liquor store here in town that we have now. Um, so we have that added in there. Looking down my list here. Oh, yes. Um, a couple other things I want to look at. Actually, I think we will look at one of them later. Yeah, we'll look at that one later. Okay. Yeah, I have two other things I want to show you guys, and then we're going to do some police role plan here, and then we'll do some farming. And then after the farming, we will... That, that'll that be it. That, that's that's the end of the episode. <laughs> we'll do some police role play, and then probably a time lapse, and then some farming, I think, is actually what's going to happen. Oh, let's go this way first. I want to show off this part of something first. So you see this nice, beautiful sign here. Hop out. Maybe the car will stop. Uh, I was going to put in a directory kind of for me to be able to quickly see, but... I thought I was all nice and had it all typed out, but obviously it's hanging off. So I just need to redo it. Uh, I'm going to have one there, one up there, and then two down there for those ro rows rows of houses down there. Um, so we'll get those all squared away. Um, we have some new people moving in. Oh, actually, that's the other thing I need to announce too. Um, we have some new people that have moved into the apartments over here. We'll head in here. We'll just... Hop out and take a look. So right here, 
Sai, FCC, there's your apartment. SYLD, there's your apartment. Easy Rider, your apartment. And then we had a couple more over here added in. Uh, Sam Plays and Nathan Otremda. I Hopefully I said all that correctly. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Not trying to offend anyone or anything like that. But uh, there you have it. Those guys are all added in. Uh, what else we got going on? Oh, yes. So if you remember, I mentioned us having a government here on No Man's Land to elect some of you to run this beautiful town and county. So whenever the mayor is elected, they will get to live temporarily in this house for their term. So here's the sign. I'll put their name on here. And again, you have to be part of the Discord neighborhood. So you have to have a house on here or an apartment, I should say. Um, and once you live on here, then you can run for office in Discord. Um, as soon as this posts or around the same time this posts, I will make a um, I will make a channel on Discord to put kind of what your goals would be in office as either mayor, put either mayor or city council. Um, and put kind of what your goals would be, what changes you want to make in the town, stuff like that. And then uh, people will get a vote on it. City Council will get a vote on different things as well um, to do different things like that. And if you guys decide the police department needs 10 new cars, you guys can make that decision. Or if you decide the fire department needs more trucks or you decide the crosswalks should be put in, you decide trees should be taken out, all the above. So it should be fun. And these are where the three city council members will live. And I'll put your names on these houses. Now, it doesn't mean you lose your house over there. Um, these are just your kind of, just it's more of just a symbol to say these are the people that have uh, been elected. Um, yeah, and then after after everyone has uh, put in their two cents about, hey, I want to run for office, then I will go ahead and set up a poll in Discord where you guys can vote uh, for who you want to be in each position. Um, and anyone on Discord can vote, even if you don't live in this Discord neighborhood, which I know I just it's just to get more people to vote and more people to engage otherwise. Um, cause I probably wouldn't be able to put everyone on discord on here anyways, but not everyone. Cause I think the discord has something like 250 or 300 members on it. Um, so a lot of you are on here given, but not, I don't think most of you even are on here, but, uh, anyhow, so that's what I have for you guys. So we're going to start doing our next, our first election here. Um, it's going to, the election is going to start, um, and either get posted next episode or the episode after that, where we start actually having terms. And then we will have those people be in power for, a couple episodes and then we'll start rotating it out and doing whatever else we need to do probably i, I would think say at least three episodes of being city council or mayor so three weeks in real time but uh yeah this is episode 75 this series is going to keep going for as long as i can keep it going because i just enjoy playing on here and i enjoy this series so yeah that is all the very many things i have uh, to offer you guys so um yeah now we're just gonna be ready to respond to calls and kind of hope and go from there Oh, I am getting a, okay, getting a others call here. Um, looks like, let's pull over to the side of the road here, but looking at the call comments on my computer, it looks like Diz Farmer is calling in saying that he's smelling some manure or something over in the Discord neighborhood. So let me call him and talk to him a little bit about that. Let me just back into this spot here so we can keep an eye on the road for speeders and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'll give him a call and see what the issue is here real quick. All right, so talking to him, yeah, it says that there's a lot of manure. I think it's the manure we delivered to Ome, Coast Coast. Um, I think that's just kind of causing a smell, so it's kind of bugging him a little bit, which I can't blame him for that. So, okay, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I'll go ahead and document that for now, and then I told him that I would look into it and see if there's any obscure laws or city ordinances where we can get him to kind of uh, get rid of it. But we'll probably end up giving him a call here or stopping by in a little bit, let him know some people are complaining. Because, uh, the, the, I mean, the goal of law enforcement is not just to hand out tickets and fines and arrests. It's to try to solve problems that people have. So that's one where we don't even know if it's a crime or not, but we're just going to try to be problem solvers. So that is what we are going to do on that one. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and close that out for now. We'll go ahead and get back to patrolling, see if we can't uh, find anything else going on um, around here. Go out this way. Oh, we are actually getting a burglary, cold burglary. Okay, at Leo's Tree Service. Uh, he's not sure if someone's still inside, so let's actually just let's get over there real quick. Okay, let's get over here. So also I added a new sign there, Leo Tree Surgery. I know it's not spelled correctly, but that's what I I had to work with the sign people. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll just post up here. Um, so let me see what his complaint is here. Uh, break in. Okay, so we'll go ahead. I guess it's a break into this building. I probably should not be. My tactics are not always what they should be here. We're actually just going to turn our lights off over here and get over out over here. We'll keep an eye on this building. Um, we're going to try to get some officers around back um, in order to help kind of get this all secured. So he said there's a broken door. The door has been pried open. So he hasn't been inside yet. 
there's probably no one in. They probably got it last night, whatever they wanted to steal and got out, but we still just want to play it safe and we'll get another officer over here. All right, so county units over there for us and states in the back watch in the back. So um, there's only these doors here. There's nothing on that side or that side state said. Uh, so just that back door. So we'll come in the front door and we'll make sure we hold it while we're um, going in. Ideally, you'd have someone on the far corner in this corner to make sure no one could come out, but we'll go ahead and search it here real quick. Copper Springs Police, we're coming in. Building search. All right, we searched it. Um, so other than there's the door damage and a couple of things were stolen. So we're going to go ahead and document that and keep an eye out. Um, so that's all we have for now. So we'll go ahead and we're going to clear the call for now. But uh, and you can see states back there being sneaky. Not really. But anyhow, we'll go ahead and clear the call out for now um, and head out from there. But uh, yeah. Oh, we're getting another another's call here. We're getting busy. A lot of calls today. We'll go ahead and pull over. Um, we'll just head into town. We can always call them in a second. Looks like Farmer Grandpa's calling uh, to ask about the, I guess, the lights on the baseball field are on at 3 in the morning. So we'll go ahead and uh, give him a call about that and see if we can't figure that out because that, that would be obnoxious. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll park right in here. All right. All right, I will give him a call. See what his issue is. All right, so it sounds like, yeah, the lights are coming on, just kind of being on all night, but uh, that should be a pretty easy fix, actually. We're going to go over here to City Hall. I'll go talk to uh, the buildings and maintenance people and ask them if they can get those things reset because uh, they shouldn't be on unless they're actually using them. Just wasting power anyway, so the city shouldn't have any issues fixing that up, but uh, we'll go on the side door here. I think maintenance is through here. All right, maintenance said they'll get that fixed, so Farmer Grandpa, you shouldn't be up all night anymore with those darn lights so anyhow um yep and oh we are getting an emergency call okay i guess a couple of people look like they're getting ready to to fight um over i guess the manure maybe i guess it sounds like that's kind of oh boy we better get over there i guess there's a couple of people over here at ome's house getting ready to fight and they think it's over the manure is what the reporting party said and i guess there's a bunch of people outside watching so let's get up over there and See what's going on. Alright guys, so I am actually doing this uh, after the fact. 
um, and doing a voiceover because I, for some reason, had my mic on mute, so <laughs> I didn't get it. But as you can see, Alex and David here are representing Omeko's Ghost on the porch and Jet Red here down here on the grass. They were arguing. Nothing physical happened. Uh, we'll work on solving some issues here, but uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed what I did there with the police cars and whatnot, but... <laughs> Oh, there's always an issue, I feel like, when I'm editing something, but uh, we'll deal with the manure. There's me looking at the pile of manure, saying, yep, there's a pile of manure. Uh, one of the other officers is going to take this call for me. So, we're going to head out um, and head back to the farm is what we're going to do here. Um, and I think that's where I'm going to leave you, actually, for this, just because, well, we're driving back to the farm. What you are going to see here in a second is you are going to see a time lapse of a landscaping thing, which I mentioned earlier. So, that's going to be next, and then we'll do some farming. So... That is everything for me, folks. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. But, yeah, that's what we got going on. <laughs> Alright everyone, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little time lapse doohickey my bob. Um, but uh, anyhow, we are back to farming on here, which I'm very excited about. So our money is set back where it should be, 147,804. Um, let's hop in here and take a look. So canola in a lot of these fields, if not all, yeah, canola, 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 canola. And then grass, obviously poplars are there and sugar canes there. Um, oh, I need to get some weeds taken care of it looks like here in a second. So I'll get out and do some weeding. Um, grasses, I'm sure not ready. Yeah, okay, perfect. And then I do need to get in our fertilizer state on all of those. Yes, okay, so fertilize and weed is what I need to get done. Let me write that down. I, was, I will forget, fertilize and weed, okay. 
And then let's take a look at the animals, see how they're doing. Pigs, holy crap, you guys are just reproducing mad. Um, okay, every hour we get a new pig, jeez. Cows, you guys are also reproducing fairly quickly. Doing good there. So on our note too, a few people have commented, well, I'd say a few, a couple of people have commented about uh, my feed ratios. I, I've... I don't think it's a mod. I could be wrong. I, I thought it was part of the new Alpine DLC, but I know a lot of people aren't having the same changes. So that would lead me to believe that it probably isn't part of the Alpine DLC. But when I was doing my cow tutorial video, this was uh, this was my ratio and I don't run any mods when I do my tutorial videos. I just use base game stuff. So I'm really confused as to what it could be. All I was running was the Alpine DLC. So I have no idea. If you guys have any idea what could cause that, uh, let me know. But I, as far as I know, it's... Yeah, anyhow, <laughs> it is what it is, I suppose. Um, okay, sheep, you guys need more. You guys are filthy. Um, you guys are getting dirty, too. Yep, so every everything seems to be doing okay. I might throw a little bit of stuff in there. The cows, this is throwing me off here, having to do different stuff now down here to get full productivity. Um, so I might... Yeah, because 60, 70, 80, 90, I need all of them. I might throw just, gosh, maybe... Maybe hay in there I might do. Well, silage is, yeah, I'll do hay. Hay's a little bit easier probably to come by than silage. Let's take a look at what we got stored up here. We got wheat and barley, which I'll probably use both of those, honestly, and oats there. But wheat and barley I use to feed the pigs. Uh, corn I'll use to feed the pigs. We actually need to grow some more corn. Potatoes, I'm gonna hold on to those for when we plant potatoes because I do want to do a big potato harvest, which maybe we'll start planting for that. Then we have 710,000 liters of TMR, 59,000 liters of silage, and then how is Pretty sure that's hay. I'm pretty sure that's grass. Hay, grass. So a million liters of hay. So we could use hay pretty easily to get those guys topped up. Um, we do have a lot of pellets to sell off here. So we probably should sell those. What's the prices? That's not good. That's a good price for pellets right there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get those sold right now, actually. Um, you you guys are doing okay, too. Agris land tree. We might as well sell a load of those, too. Because we're probably going to use a lot of our wood chips we're going to get. Because I think what we want to do is clear a lot of the trees that are over here into wood chips. So we can fill, fulfill that uh, subscriber contract. So let's go hop in the truck. Remember last time we bought a new truck, which is right over here. We'll use this guy. But this guy's pretty sweet. Oh, I want to turn that on. Okay, and then how many liters of uh, the wood ones? We only had 45,000. Okay, we'll actually just hook up to that green trailer there. And we'll get both of these guys delivered out. I do like this truck. <laughs> oh, wait, does this one not have a... One of them? Yeah, this one is the one. This one I forgot to buy with a hitch on it, so let's go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and fix that up. We'll get this guy out of the way real quick. But our goal today would probably be to harvest the canola and get planted with something else. I mean, we normally do that a lot of episodes. Um, it's kind of our, our farming goal is get a crop going. So we need to do a round of cotton, basically, and a round of uh, potatoes. Potatoes, because I want to do potatoes, uh, especially with my new modded potato harvester from Quiet Hitman. Um, let's... Why not? My uh, workshop tower should be working just fine. Maybe it's not quite in range. Range. Well, we'll back it up there. We should be able to access the trailer. That doesn't get it in there. I don't know what's going to. <laughs> there we go. Okay, repair that. Customize it. Um, where we have attachers. Rear hitch. There we go. Customized. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. And that's a. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it while you guys are here because I definitely want it. I'm going to buy it eventually, anyways. Uh, if it loads. There we go. We're going to buy this guy. I mentioned that at the beginning of the episode. Get the cloth brand since we have a uh, fine color boss has another one doesn't it yeah I feel like I should switch those do main color that cloth and then yeah that thing that looks better I like that okay rim color we'll just do black is fine doesn't really matter okay perfect let's go ahead and buy that 43,000 40 bucks no big deal. Okay, we'll sell off the other one. When I go to pick that one up, I'll take the other one in to sell. Um, yeah, easy peasy. Well, if this ever actually completes itself here. <laughs> Standing by. And we have our other bin. We need to go pick up our other IT runner bin that's up at the uh, the store. Waiting to get picked up. That way we can haul it back here so we can use it to put stuff in. 
Which will do that. Go, oh, good lord, this is not going to load, is it? <laughs> oh, my game says not responding. We'll see how it goes here. There we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, but we bought... Uh, this should be on the map here if we come out over here. We bought the little containers because we're going to use one at the pigs um, to just put the pig feed in, and then one at the cows as well. So, okay. Oop, cheat. There we go. Uh, back in here and now we should be able to hook up to that and get that guy going we should make some decent cash off of that the sale we're about to have right here at the hay pallets and stuff so that should help us out quite a bit but essentially i'll just get everything weeded and fertilized and then i probably won't have anything more to do tonight and then tomorrow i think we're going to plant potatoes i think that's what we're going to do um yeah i think that's what i want to do we might even buy a potato planter i know it sounds crazy but uh well, I don't know. That's that is pretty crazy. <laughs> oh wait, where am I? I'm just gonna drive down there without anything on board. Uh, that's not gonna work. They're not gonna take uh, empty space here. <laughs> I swear, guys, I know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> let's turn around here. Sorry about your grass, buddy. No oh, burglars over at Leo's. Taking a look there. Okay, okay. But yeah, so that kind of the switchback, the landscaping I did, that kind of switchback that I did on there. Um, I wanted to do that before, but I thought it's just that's one of the cooler landscaping things that I've done, so I figured I'd keep you guys in for that. Okay. This one. Go backwards. We're going to put hay pellets in here. It'll take a little bit to get the hay pellets in, but then get the wood pellets. That's a fantastic price for these bad boys. For this load alone, we get what 130-ish or so thousand dollars, if not more. Could be a really good sale for us, though. Good to boost us up in the finances a little bit. I should have some more towards the front, but fine. <laughs> I know it actually doesn't matter, but well, it looks better if you have it more spread out. I think. All right, we'll fill this one up with. Oh, there we go. Just the regular pellets, which are just the wood pellets, basically. Yeah, I'm glad I got those silos all set up back there. I think that their extension onto the back of here is pretty spot on, so. They were set up by me for, or they were set up for me by Quiet Hitman, so I appreciate that again. And that's the, basically the modder for uh, Farmer Cop. Now, if you have not, you should go Subscribe to GamerCop as well. We're almost at 200 subscribers as I'm recording this. We might be at 200 by the time this comes out. We'll see, though. Um, again, in a couple of days, slow and steady wins the race. But, uh, oh, I remember those days starting out on Farming Simulator here and just gaining a, you know, so many days where I didn't gain any subscribers. Uh, it's, it's slow going, uh, getting a YouTube channel going, that's for sure. But if you persevere, you can make it happen. But, uh, yeah. Anyhow, we'll get up here. I think we'll stop at Agra's land trade first, and then we'll go over to the pallet sell point. This will be our lesser sale here, but still should be a good sale. Ooh, that wasn't what I wanted to happen. We should get like 22-ish, 2,000. Maybe less than that. Around 20,000, probably. It's probably pretty realistic to get here. And that's actually the perfect trailer to have used here, not the tip back since it has the roof over it, but... Yep, we'll grab this, and then we'll head over to the pallet cell point. But yeah, right now on uh, Gamer Cop, I'm playing Fishing North Atlantic and Ark Survival Evolved. Those are the two games I'm playing on there right now. Uh, Ark Survival Evolved, I'm just doing a single... Oh, we got 26,000. That was a lot better than I thought we'd do. Uh, Ark Survival Evolved, I'm just doing a single-player uh, game on the island. I know it's just kind of basically the classic map, and it's my favorite map, I'll be honest. Uh, well, at least as of now, I haven't tried all the maps, but... Uh, I think it's actually the only one I played on, but just watching videos of other people playing the other ones that I don't, I'm not as interested in the other ones as I am in the island. Oh, especially if you get to know a map too. Like Farming Simulator, if you got, if you, you know, played, I'd say I played No Man's Land for as long as I have on here, and then um, Farming Simulator, whatever the next version of the game is going to come out, which I know some people say there's not going to be another game. They're going to release another game eventually. I'm not saying it's going to happen immediately or anything like that, but. Uh, uh, yeah, but it will happen eventually. They'll release another game of some type. But uh, anywho, yeah, it's like playing on No Man's Land for this long, and then they release a new map, or Alien Jim does another No Man's Land map on uh, the next version of FS. And it's like, okay, well, 
playing on there, I would have a lot of, I just feel super, super comfortable on it, regardless of what other maps were out there and stuff like that. But 133,000 on that, we're doing okay. All right, so I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, anyhow, I digress. I'm playing on there. If you want to go watch that, it's uh, more Farmer Cop. Well, Gamer Cop, I guess, <laughs> but more of my <laughs> exciting, disastrous gameplay style. Uh, <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, all the weeds taken care of and get some more fertilizer thrown out. And then, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in probably in the morning would be my guess, I think. Yeah, I would guess the morning. But, yeah, I'll see you guys later on. Good morning, folks. It's 7 a.m. So, whew, a lot of stuff I had accomplished. So, first off, I delivered those 10 cows to, oh, gosh, what was their name? Let me look at it real quick. Um to Philip Stallings. He needed 10 cows, so those are all delivered, shipped off, good to go. Um, so that's another subscriber contract done and out of the way. Um, looking in here at the map, nothing's ready to harvest except for the grass, but we're gonna wait till it gets gold stated first. Um, since we are gonna make some hay bales for that other subscriber contract. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the balers I added in to potentially do that with. Um, so I'm not gonna use the jumping baler, the throwing baler, the one we started out using a while back. Um, I'm thinking of these two. This one, oh, that's pretty cheap there. Ooh, that's so cheap that I could really easily lease that and do that. But I really kind of want to use this and this because this puts six on the back or eight on the back and then dumps them off. Yeah, I think I might do that just to be able to use that darn thing. But 1800 bucks still isn't that bad for leasing. Plus, yeah, that's still not bad. I mean, they're pretty cheap, but that's a lot cheaper there. So um, that's what we're going to use for that eventually. Um, we'll get that going. Um, so what else did I accomplish? So yeah, I finished that. We got 25 grand for that. I sold our small poplar header and we got 22 grand for that. I picked up our bigger poplar header, put it away. Um, I also, um, oh, I picked up our other bin and set it out. So we have both of our bins. Let's just go take a look at that real quick. So we have the pig bin there, which you guys saw, and I did clean out the animals. So here's the cow one. It's already got stuff in it that cleaned out the animals. And the pig one is over here. I did clean them all up, but they're already making a mess. And pig bin's got stuff in it as well. We can get out. There we go. Um, so got that done. Cleaned up the animals. I also sold our other BSM trailer, and I bought another one of the uh, West Up trailers. So now we have three total West Up trailers, which I think is great. These two I have available for a road train. This guy I have just available to hook up a dolly. I bought a second dolly, so there's a dolly there because there's one on the back of the road train here. And then I put all of our uh, semi-truck trailers in here, um, which I'll explain why I did that in a second. I also um, sold 64 pigs, uh, so if you go on our animals. Um, we had so many stinking pigs. Um, they were just eating through food like crazy. So I know this thing I think can hold 500 or something crazy like that which I like the effectiveness a lot more on this. I, I swear I didn't change anything on it, but it all changed except for sheep and horses didn't change at all. And I haven't even checked chickens. Oh, anyhow. Uh, so I think I'll keep them around that once they get up to about 170, 180, I'll sell off 64 and just keep doing that because I think that's a pretty efficient way, honestly, to deal with pigs. So we got 64 grand from that. Um, let me see what else I did here. I made a list. Yeah, I think we can go over the, the next stuff. Uh, so we are actually going to go hop in the pickup truck because we're going to drive into town. I want to drive up our nice little setup that goes up the hill. So I do want to drive up that bad boy. Disconnect that guy. But I did build, first off, I built a garage back here. This guy right here. So this I was going to use for like semi trucks and stuff like that. And I mentioned wanting to put one in. The garage is only 58 grand. Uh, but I decided this would be a good one for harvesters because if you look at the map I mean this right here is pretty central to being able to get harvesters out to all of our fields versus over here I mean, yeah, they're pretty quick access to the fields, but that one's far away And it's just I think it's just nice to have these guys out here because they can easily quickly get up and down this road uh, To wherever they need to be. So I think that's kind of this the best uh, The best setup overall for that. So I think that's gonna work out really good for us um, Where is? And the canola is not ready to harvest yet, but it should be ready soon. And then I think we are going to plant potatoes, but we'll hop back in here. I do actually need to get more fuel while I'm out and about too. 
that's what I should do. But uh, we're going to go drive up. And there's also a couple of additions to Arctic Wolf Lodge. You already saw the liquor store we added in this episode as the business of the episode or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we will uh, we'll head up because I added something on the Arctic, Arctic Wolf Lodge. And I really want to drive up that uh, see how bad it is, really. Um, <laughs> it could just be horrendous. We'll see in a second here. Uh, we're, I guess, going to take this way, which is... Uh, not quicker, but more damaging. Uh, just kidding. Um, okay. Let's head in here. A little bit early in the morning, but it should be fine. Should be able to see what we want to see. Hopefully it's not too bad, because if I have to redo a lot of it, that'll be frustrating, but we'll make it work. Uh, we'll head this way. This cuts down. Ooh, almost hit that there. We'll just run the stop sign. Don't tell anyone. We'll head up there. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, honestly, how it looks and everything like that, but uh, am I hitting bumps on the road here, or is that just my poor driving skills? Probably a little bit of both, but uh, anyhow. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, quite honestly. I mean, obviously, this is a little intense. Could use a little bit more work, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with how, yeah, it's, some of these are pretty steep. Kind of hard to see in the landscaping tool sometimes, but I might make a road that goes that way, but... Uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with how it how it is here. It is supposed to be designed to allow trucks to go up and down. That was kind of one of my thoughts in mind, but I don't think it's going to be... With, with some of these divots, it might be a little bit difficult since we're getting some good air. But uh, yeah, lots of space up here for more businesses. I do have ideas. I would consider this to be outside of the city limits um, up here, but yeah, lots of space up here. All flattened out, all good to go. Lots of, lots of good business space up here, so... But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look here. So this is Arctic Wolf Logistics. This is ran by, um, let's see here, run by Lucky. But uh, here we go, Arctic Wolf Log. I couldn't fit it on the sign, sorry. I had to work, I had to work with what I got here. Uh, I should have used those digital signs. Those actually would have worked out pretty good. I'm just gonna drive through the flowers here. Sorry, Lucky. Um, but anyhow, out here we have a couple of bunk houses added in at the request of Lucky for his truckers to stay in. So hopefully these suit your needs. I figured these would be fine. Um, but yeah, so we got that going on up here. I think that's everything up here that I want to mention. Oh, so what, the airport is owned by Jason, which the airport's down over here and it honestly needs to be finished. There's the runway there. Honestly, that just needs to be, I need to work on finishing that up and getting that going. But, uh, um, they are going to partner together. Uh, Jason is with Lucky here, uh, to make sure they can kind of reach out a little bit more. So I guess, uh, Lucky's probably just going to handle a lot of local transports to the airport and getting stuff to and from the airport and everything like that. Uh, you know, different deliveries and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so anyhow, I just wanted to bring all that up. I'm basically just going to kind of hang out and wait until the canola is ready to go. And then we might actually cut this and windrow it or cut it, ted it, windrow it, get it good to go for the next episode. Because next episode, I definitely want to, uh, yeah, I definitely want to use those, those bailers and get that contract going there. So yeah i think that's what we'll do so and then we may not even do potatoes next episode well we might i don't know we'll figure it out it'll all work out it'll all work out well <laughs> i'm just thinking like thumbnail wise it's like i try not to do too many cool things in one episode because then you have an episode where you're like ah gosh i wish i would have split it up a little bit more so i had more thumbnails i could do anyhow anyhow that's what i got for you guys i'll see you guys in a little bit all right, welcome back. So um, it is two in the afternoon. Most of everything up here is ready to go. So we're gonna start working on that here in a bit. Uh, well, we will probably hear in just a second, but I'm up here with some straw pellets. Uh, I have 210,000 liters here in the trailer. Plus if I go into here, our silo is empty right now. But if I go into here under straw pellets, I have another 144,000 liters in here, which just doesn't have any hay pellets. But we did have some more of these pellets in here that I forgot about, so. Um, but if we go into the store, a great demand popped up. So I said, I will definitely sell those. Um, but actually I'm curious now, are those, oh, those are 820 now. We're actually gonna go grab the rest of those and sell those as well. <laughs> but uh, we're going to start with this. So we're going to be doing okay on the cash here. Um, yeah, this is going to make us a boatload of cash. All these pellets. This is literally a ridiculous amount of pellets. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. The money's going to be flying up. We are going to have some money to spend next episode, that is for sure. But I think after we sell these guys off and I get the harvest going, um, I'll probably call it an episode here soon, I think. Just looking at time of how long I have or how much I've recorded and 
everything like that. I think I'll be calling it here soon, but $155,000. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, uh, we, we're doing okay on these, I think. <laughs> so much cash. I really like these West App trailers, too. These things are fantastic. 155000 and what do we have? Another 144 so a trailer and a third. So we'll have another, what, $180,000, too, sitting back at the farm, something like that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, our money has definitely gone up, which is great. Wow, another hundred fifty. That's that, I mean, that's crazy. Okay, let's go over the map here. Um, we're gonna get, let's get the harvester going. So the other header's down over there, but this one will just kind of pull them behind it. And I did park that other trailer, the sugar cane trailer, in there, the big one. Um, just because I felt well, we we're gonna use it basically on that is basically what we're using it for. So, well, let's get this guy. Uh, let's go to the harvester. Select the harvester. Get the harvester unfolding. That way, once we get down here, we can. Uh, Get this baby harvesting. Fantastic. I probably should just take auto drive out of here. But it'll also bring up these things every time you load back in, which is a little frustrating. But regardless, grass is good to go. I'll start getting that good and ready to be hayed. Right about there is probably good. Nope. Connect it. Loop around this side here. Jeez, I'm in a little hot on that one. All right. Get this going. Hire worker. Fantastic. All right. How much uh, do we need? How much uh, can all do we need? Um, uh, 100,000 liters. Uh, we should hopefully. That's a lot of canola. Uh, we're almost a hundredth of the way there. Uh, anyhow, um, so yeah, I think that, let me look at our time here. Oh no, we got some time left. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go sell the rest of the stuff that we have that needs to be sold, all those pallets, and then I'll bring you guys back in, and then we'll take a look at how much we're sitting at, and we'll talk about what we're going to do in future episodes. So I think that's what we'll do. So I'll bring you guys back in in just a minute, and then we'll close it out. All right, so... We got our first load off the combine over there, 14,000 liters. So I think we should be doing A-OK -okay after we harvest all these. Um, yeah, look at our money, 988. We almost broke a million. Oh, so close. But anyhow, yeah, this has been a fun episode for me. I'm, I'm very happy to be back on here, back on here doing this. We do need to get those trees cut down at some point too. Good Lord, we got all sorts of stuff around the farm to do. Um, yeah, next episode, I, th I think... Oh, I think we'll, we may not even get to it, but I think we'll, we'll either, excuse me, plant potatoes or plant cotton and then get to those in the next episode. Um, but yeah, we'll finish up. I'll probably do, yeah, I'll probably get some of this done off camera. Well, I'll probably get the harvest finished up off camera and then I'll do the plant and then stuff on camera. I mean, I don't never, I never do all of it just on camera, but I'll probably bring you guys back in for maybe parts of it, even maybe part of this harvest here. But uh, yeah, but then we'll get uh, the baler out and we'll do some of that. I think that'll be important for us to do. And of course, we'll do some more role play in our ever growing city of businesses and everything like that. But yes, again, um, make sure you go. And if you want to run for city council or you want to run for mayor, go ahead and put your two cents in on Discord and let us know what you want to accomplish here in Copper Springs. And we'll go from there. But uh yeah, guys, this has been Farmer Cop. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.